Hello guys, Middleton Plays here and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I hope everyone is doing great today. So this is my first tutorial video here on my channel. Um, and of course, as you can see by the title, it's basically on how to download and install the MC Command Center mod for The Sims 4. I will link all of this in the description for you guys so you won't have to go and search it for yourself. Um, so this is the latest version to the public, um, 4.4.5. So um, there are, well you basically have the all modules version and then you, you have the additional MC Woohoo, um, which is basically like... I guess just a normal module um, as what you have on this one um, but this is of course optional I mean the others are optional as well but it really is up to you if you want to have like um, woohoo features in your game for example you can have a woohoo skill uh, you can but it's basically about like pregnancy and woohoo in general there's many different settings um, but of course in this video I'm only going to be showing you how to install it not to actually um, go through the settings and all that type of stuff. Um, I mean there are many other videos out there that you could poss possibly check out on like trying to get the right settings and that for your game um, but this video is just for installing it. So what you basically do is you just click on this and download it. There we go. So it's already downloaded. Um, I was also, I did forget to mention that um, this person, the creator of the mod, does have a Patreon um, and for you to actually get a pre-release um, version of the mod um, you have to of course pay for that and become a patron. But the one that I've just shown you, what we've just downloaded, is free to everyone. So, so these are all the module names. So you have of course CMD Center, which is the main module for it to basically make the whole mod work really. Um, and then of course these are what you can add to the game. Um, I mean you don't have to have all of them, you can only go for the one, well you can go for ones that you would personally like in your game and then if there's ones that you're like oh, I don't want that in my game, you don't have to have it. So you have career, you have creator sim, cheats, cleaner, clubs, dresser, Gedcom, which I think that's the only one I don't have in my game. Um, Occult, I can't remember if I have that or not, um, because I don't really play with um, the Occults in The Sims 4. Um, population, Pregnancy and Tuna. Um, automatic Scan, I'm not sure about that because I've never seen that before. Um, and then of course MC Woohoo is of course an additional module that you can download if you want that in your game. So um, I'm going to now show you how to install it. So go on to um, basically wherever you downloaded the um, MC Command Center. Um, and of course it's now in my downloads. So what you do, you have to have WinRA to, uh, to be able to do this because you need to extract it. And of course I will link this in the description for you guys so you can go and download it. I know there is like 7-zip or something but I don't understand that. So, um, But I would personally uh, recommend WinRA. And I mean even though you have like a 40 day free trial, you can still actually use it after the 40 days. I mean, it's not like one of those things where um, it says you need a license or whatever to be able to continue using it. Um, so yeah. Um, so what you do, you basically right click on the package or the zip file, you go to extract files, and then you go to wherever you've got your Sims 4 folder. So it's usually documents, um, electronic arts, the Sims 4 mods. I'm not sure if the mods folder is like already, um, like just already there because of course it's been like nearly four years and I've had mods and create a, um, custom content since then so I can't really remember what the like the um, the default Sims 4 folder is like. But if you do not have a mods folder, then just create one. Um, and of course, just remember to have a capital M. <laughs> um, so click on this. And I have already created a folder because I mean, when it comes to um, when you get patches and that for the game, it can sometimes, um, the patch can actually, actually break mods. Um, and usually the creator will have a fix for it in maybe a day or two. Sometimes it could be near a week later. Um, but I know the Sims um, Sims VIP do actually do an article on basically all the mods that have been broken from a recent patch. Um, and they basically update you to say if it's been updated, if it's if it still hasn't been updated or what. Um, Create a 
MC Command Center folder and then just click on that and then press OK. There we go. So now I'm going to go to my mods folder and go down to MC Command Center and there we go. So that is now installed. Um, but like I said, if there are any that you don't really want in your game, um, which like I said, GEDCOM is something that I don't have in my game, then just basically click on, click on it and then just, um, okay, they're not meant to do that. Do that, and then basically just delete. And it, the thing will still work, it just won't have that module in that game, in your game. So. Whilst I'm just waiting for my origin to update, I'm going to just quickly show you how you would install the MC Woohoo package. And I mean, it's literally just the same as the, you know, the, um, the all modules one. So basically, you right click on it, extract files, documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Mods, and then go to your MC Command Center folder. Or like I said, if you haven't put it in a folder and just put it in Mods, then of course just click that. But of course I do have one, so I would click on the MC Command Center folder and then press OK. Um, and now let me go to my Mods folder. Um, and let's go down to MC Command Center. And there you go, so that's what it should look like. Um, so it's now been installed. Um, but now, okay, so it looks like Origin is finally updated. Um, so let me just quickly get the game up for you guys and I'll show you um, like the settings you need for it to actually be, for it to actually work in your game. Okay guys, so what you need to do now is go to your game options, go to other, and then make sure you enable custom content and mods and also enable script mods allowed. Um, because of course it is a script mod and without having this enabled it won't work and for you to know um, if it's installed or not um, this would usually actually pop up when you first load the game um, so what you will do if you haven't got these enabled already you will have to just restart your game and then it should work um, so this will come up basically saying everything you've got installed that's custom content and mods uh, but let me just quickly show you uh, what it should look like so as you can see um, we have the MC here, so Korea, create a sim, cheats, cleaner, clubs, um, the basically the module that makes it all work, dresser, occult, population, pregnancy, tuner, and woohoo. So, and that's basically how you install MC Command Center. So also, I, when you go into game, this is what will basically come up. So welcome to MC Command Center version and then the modules that you have installed. And to of course do the settings, you basically, um, go to a computer, um, let me see, okay, here we go. <laughs> so you click on the computer and you basically go to MC Command Center and then these, this is where you kind of mess with all the settings. So. And you can of course also click on the mailbox and that's for like the cheats and all that type of stuff. So I can't yeah. believe I forgot this. Um, so what you basically do um, as well, um, you also have the option to click on a sim, you can make well, basically, forget active sim. You can modify that sim and create a sim. You have, of course, the create a sim module. You have the cheats, make sim leave, skill cheats, career cheats, uh, make happy, pregnancy. You can actually literally start a pregnancy if you wanted to. Um, you don't really, sim flags, nah, doesn't matter about that. Um, sim commands, you can modify, like I said, to age, rename sim, delete sim, transfer funds, turn into vampire relationships you can add relationships and basically that's what you can do which is pretty cool um this is literally like the um the master controller and story progression mod that you had in the sims 3 by naraz which i'm also hoping to do a tutorial on how to install naraz mods if you guys do not how to do not know how to do that um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a big fat thumbs up please subscribe please comment and i hope to see you again next time. Bye guys!